The next general election is going to be very dirty. I think the Tories know that they're going to lose, but they're going to sow enough division and hate and confusion to maybe they don't quite lose as many seats as they're expecting to. In 2019, Jeremy Corbyn complained to number 10 that Theresa May was spreading lies about him, and their response was, well, it's up to you to counter those lies. And seeing as Theresa May was the Prime Minister at the time, did you expect anything less? But it started again. Thankfully, not all of the media is propping them up. And it was very nice to see Victoria Derbyshire calling out these lies. Now, this is just the start and we're not in full election mode yet. So if they're already doing this, when election season kicks off, it's going to get very, very nasty. In your speech today, you said something that really struck me. You said, we are the party of facts. I wonder if I could ask you to just have a little look at this, please. A government diktat to sort your rubbish into seven different bins. What is sinister and what we shouldn't tolerate is the idea that local councils can decide how often you go to the shops. It's no wonder that Labour seems so relaxed about taxing meat. How can you be the party of facts when none of that is true? But we are the party that stands up for facts. And my announcement today... I'm going to pause you right there. None of those three things are true. Well, well, it certainly is true. There are a lot of people that have been calling for, for, for a meat taxation. And is this Lab government no, that have been no, stemming I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to let this go. There was never a proposal to use seven bins. We can't find any council that wants to decide how often people can go to shops. And Labour have never proposed taxing meat. They are untruths. They are fiction. They are completely and utterly made up. And it's really disrespectful to voters. We are, I, I genuinely believe, we are the party of facts I've and evidence. I've just given you three pieces of fiction that members of your party have said in the last couple of weeks. Well, I've heard members of the Labour Party advocating for those things. And it was never a Labour policy, that, come on. That, that wasn't the words that were used there. It, and I have heard members of the Labour Party advocating for those things and advocating for their party to campaign on those areas. Is, is, this, how, is this how desperate the Conservative Party is now? You're making up stuff. Well, have you been at this conference? If you have, then you will say that this is not a party that is uh, in desperation mode. This is a party that's in delivery mode. This is a government that is acting on the uh, priorities of the British public. The Tory party conference comes to a close today and the Prime Minister's decided he's going to be scrapping HS2 to Manchester whilst he's having his party conference in Manchester. So we'll see how that one plays out. He's really not the sharpest tool in the box. And speaking of being sharp as tall, he's already had at least two very bad interviews, which you can see in the video on screen now. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.